Val Gurney has the advantage of throwing first in this one. Gurney made it all the way to the final yesterday. He was beaten only by Peter Snakebite Wright. The man who arguably is the best player in the world right now. 123. He had a go in the final, did Darrell Gurney. Caused Wright some problems, but ultimately not quite enough to get the job done and claim a second PDC title. It's only a few weeks ago that Darrell Gurney claimed his maiden PDC win. 57. Kim Hybrex in the final of that tournament. Averaged 107 in the process. That was back at the start of April in Barnsley at the Metrodome. Beat Kim Hybrex 6-3 and then missed a dart to win the next day in the final against Joe Cullen. in the world's top 16. Go and win today. And it's another 10 grand closer he'll get. Before this weekend, he was only about £25,000 off the number 16 spot. Currently held by Simon Whitlock. 100. He did beat Simon Whitlock yesterday. He's got a phenomenal record against him. Single 19 will deliver dart at tops for Dowell Gurney to hold his throw with a 15 darter. It's a little bit high. And Darren Webster. Double ten. Lovely stuff. 14 dart leg from Darren Webster. Breaks the gurney throw. And goes into the lead. Now these two have met on five occasions in the past. But only one of them was recently. It was very recently. It was last weekend. That one was won by Darrell Gurney. 6-3 in Gibraltar in the last 32 stage, the second round of that tournament. This is the last 30, this is the last 16, sorry, as Gurney fires in his first maximum. Now Gurney going on to make the semi-finals in Gibraltar. Beaten by Mensur Sulevich, another player who's Still in action today. Hmm. Just to remind you how many 180s we had, we thought we'd show you an enormous graphic. And the answer is one. One 180. Gurney should get to a finish. Just the ton. You can see he knows it's a missed opportunity after that first dart. Because 164 is a very, very tricky shot. Just grabbed another one, 124, much more gettable. 130 is a lot more gettable than 164. And it's not going to go. So Darren Webster to consolidate that early break. He's going to get a dart. And it's a double five. Oh, and it's high. Got a bit excited there. Darren Webster. Gurney. 48, 16 for double. Oh, he's got eight tops. Interesting decision. 28. Usually a double 16 man, but this time electing for tops, and Gurney doesn't take it out. Webster does take out the double five. It is 2 0, and the Northern Irishman may have a problem here. He did win their most recent meeting in Gibraltar just the other week. Their four other meetings were shared, two wins apiece. 60. But they're all in 2013, 14, and 15. So no recent form to go on. And it's fair to say that Dowell Gurney over the last 18 months particularly has evolved into a very, very dangerous darter. An elite darter in waiting, if you like. Looks like he's set to carry on climbing the rankings and you'll see him going deep in big tournaments. That's what it looks like. Got to go and do it, of course. He's showing a lot of promise. But Darren Webster, you know, Made his first major semi-final at the Players' Championship Finals and was very, very close to beating Michael Van Gerwen and making his first major final. Now Gurney's still waiting for his first major final. A couple of times he's made the semis, one at the Players' Championship, one at the UK Open. 60.
won't panic, Gurney. 134. Is able to come from behind, putting together bursts of high scores and solid finishing. It's exactly what he did to Cullen in the final after winning his title. Bullseye he wants here. Oof. 36. Yeah, very nearly oh. turned it around against Joe Stalin. Had a good go at Peter Wright yesterday, but couldn't get the job done. As Webster, one for tops. Tops he wants for 3 0 and another break. And Darren Webster in charge of this one. Daryl Gurney, the number 10 seed, in all sorts of problems because Webster has taken out finishes of 80 and 101. He wasn't far off taking out the 130 as well, and it's just too good for his Northern Irish opponent at the minute, and he follows it up with a 180 to kick off leg four. He's getting very difficult very quickly for Super Chin. 100. this will face either Rob Cross so unlucky yesterday to run into Peter Wright playing darts That's from the gods five. Rob Cross averaged 109 against Peter Wright and he got done comfortably because Peter Wright averaged 120.7 yeah. <laughs> it's either Rob Cross or Mensor Suivic who awaits the winner of this one and right now it looks for all the world like it's going to be Darren Webster because if you just hit a ton here to leave tops which is exactly what he's going to do 100. he is on the brink of a 4-0 lead we saw Darren Webster at the world championship play his best game ever on a big stage beating Simon Whitlock 4-0 in sets and he didn't miss anything and this well it's pretty similar stuff so far it is 4-0 shooting from Daryl Gurney, 139, followed by that 2 treble 18 visit. Darren Webster, every time Gurney puts in a big score, he follows him. Gurney just cannot shake the little man off right now. Peter Wright is continuing his rampage this weekend. He's beaten Keegan Brown. Peter Wright into the quarterfinals. Number one seed Peter Wright, certainly the man to beat. 170 is not going to go for Daryl Gurney, but he is going to get 58. another chance to come back to the board in this one. And he'll look at 112, because Webster can't finish 184 no matter how well he's playing. 100. <laughs> but 84 he could finish. So Gurney might have to take this out. He's going to get a dart. He's chosen double 16 this time. And he misses inside. And Darren Webster for a third break of throw. And 5-0. The whitewash could be on if this goes. Bullseye. It is too good from Darren Webster. Far too good for Darrell Gurney. He's taken out checkouts of 80, 101, and now 84 on the bullseye. It is another break of throw, and Darren Webster is throwing, not just for a place in the quarterfinals and the win, but a 6-0 win against Darrell Gurney. He has beaten him 6-0 before. It was one of his two victories over Darrell Gurney, but it is fully two years since that happened. 41, but Gurney only kicked off 29 and he has it all to do just to add a veneer of respectability to the scoreline because it just hasn't really happened for Darrell Gurney in this one today Darren Webster 
and just doing board. everything that has been asked of him. Hit a nine data earlier this year in a run to the quarterfinals of one of the UK Open qualifiers. That remains the best run he's had so far in 2017. It would appear that Darren Webster is going to make a second quarterfinal this year. And who knows? He could go even further. Well, that's a second 180 for Darrell Gurney, but you can see from the rather muted celebration, he thinks that the game may be up. He's left himself 92, but Webster's on 76, and Gurney yet to hit a winning double. May not even get a dart. Does he go double-double here? He does. And he hits it. Fantastic check out from Darrell Gurney, and there's nothing muted about that celebration. It may be a touch ironic. But takes out the 92 with two double 18s, gets a break. He's throwing to make it 5 2 now. There will be no second whitewash victory for Darren Webster against Darrell Gurney. But you get the feeling it may be a case of when the victory is completed, not if, but possibly not. Because Darrell Gurney, as I said earlier on, he won't panic if he goes behind. He does have the ability to put together runs of legs and big scores and take out checkouts. 134. But it is a big ass to win six on the spin against anybody. 114. Very strong though from Darrell Gurney. There's a response. <coughs> 38. And maybe there's a bit of a wobble from Webster. Well, Davil Gurney is on a 10 dart leg here. A moment ago, he was 5 0 down and is facing the prospect of a whitewash defeat. But a double double finish, followed by a 10 dart leg, and Davil Gurney might be starting to entertain the idea that he can get back in this game. 60. Three. Travels are drying up for Darren Webster. Where's the next Six. one going to come from? Maybe he is a little bit rattled, having seen Super Chin just up his game. <coughs> 98. Simon Whitlock is through to the quarterfinals as well. He has beaten Steve Lennon, the young Irishman, 6-5, as Gurney makes it four 180s in this match now. And this would be for another break of throw, and he doesn't even need to use the bullseye route here, Darrell Gurney. Webster is not down to a finish. 94. And that will leave double 18 again. Now... He hit double 18 in the last leg for a 10 data. He hit double 18 twice for a double double finish in the previous leg. It's double 18 again for Super Chin for a 13 data and another break. Game's and up. it's 5 3. And maybe the tables are turning in this game. Darrell Gurney is staging what looked to be a very unlikely fight back. When at 5 0 down, Darren Webster was completely in charge of this game. But Gurney, impressively, has not panicked. He's just gone about his business, and he has worked his way back into the game. Works himself into a little bit of form, as Webster has just faded a bit. 59. And he is struggling to find big trebles, Darren Webster. And if that continues, Gurney genuinely could pull this off, because he's won three on the spin with two breaks. He's got a healthy lead in this leg. And 5-0 may be about to become 5-4. And surely Webster had this game in the palm of his hand. Surely the nerves start kicking in then. 95. Oh, 
Oh, Plenty. well, it never rains, it pours. Darren Webster looks up to the skies, wondering what he's done wrong. I understand that. He has had a couple of darts look a bit loose in the board. I'm not sure whether he needs to sharpen his points or rough them up. Six. It is all right. He's a long way behind in this leg, but if it happens again in this match, and it happens at a crucial time, and it loses him 20 points, and it's the difference between being on a finish and not, 83. it could end up costing him the game. Double 10. Fifty-four. Well, Gurney knows he's going to come back to close the gap to just one leg. Webster does pile a couple into the big trebles. Welcome returns a scoring four. But it doesn't matter in this leg. It is 5-4 and what a huge leg we have now. Webster has to put in a big one. Oh my word, Daryl Gurney. It is five 180s for Super Chin. If he can find a break here, 41. the comeback is well and truly on. Daryl Gurney, well, he might even be the favourite to win this game now. Look at this from Gurney. It's four perfect darts. It's five. And look at the room in there. Oh, it's just the five. He won't care as long as he can get this leg won. Webster can't leave a finish, but he can get down to 180. He's not quite managed that, but it does keep him interested in this leg. He has crumbled a little, Darren Webster, but you've got to give credit to Daryl Gurney, who has found something. He's dug so deep. 105, 105 for Gurney, leaves him 76. And it could be an 11 darter, but wait, wait. 145. 145 for Webster. Great setup shot. 80 plays 76. Gurney gets two darts for five all. And he only needs the one. It's a fantastic 11 dart leg from Davil Gurney. He has come back from the brink here. Five nil down and completely out of it. He has won five legs on the spin, including three breaks of throw. And he is throwing for a place in the quarterfinals to face either Mensor Sulevich or Rob Cross. And Daryl Gurney is unstoppable at the minute. This is unreal from Gurney. It is six 180s. This is the sort of stuff which he has promised to do, which he has done on occasion, and which has seen him included in the World Series for the first time this year. He'll be going to Las Vegas later on in the summer, and Gurney is in there again and again. Oh, and once again, it's five perfect darts to start the leg, just as he did in the last leg. But it means that Daryl Gurney is going to get matched darts. A quite frankly, astonishing comeback from Daryl Gurney, who was dead and buried at 5-0 down. Darren Webster was not missing much. But Gurney just found a way to raise his level. He has left himself 124. Webster needs two big trebles to leave a finish. He's not going to do it. Gurney's going to get two visits for this 1-2-4. One, one of the best comebacks you are likely to see on the Pro Tour, assuming Gurney can get over the line. 56. There will be pressure of some sort. 140. 121 remain for Darren Webster. Will he get a go at it? He has not had a dart for the match in this one. Gurney may only get one himself at the ball. Well, no, he's hit the treble. So Darryl Gurney for 6-5, misses six. double 12. Match dart missed by Gurney. He was 5-0 down. Webster to nick it on the bullseye. Oh, oh, oh both men mismatched darts. Daryl Gurney returns to the board. A remarkable game. Gurney just trying to compose himself. He does this. He takes a moment. Big, deep breath. 
He's already missed the dart for the match at double 12. Double six is the target. For a sixth consecutive leg. And a place in the quarterfinals, double three. Oh, he's missed it by a yard. Sarcastic applause for himself for Daryl Gurney. Double eight for Darren Webster. A snarl from the man from Norwich, and he pins it. Somehow, he has got through that, Darren Webster, but he had to rely on Davil Gurney, who launched an astonishing fight back, missing four darts for the match. Six 180s in a brilliant fight back from Davil Gurney, but it was not enough. It is Webster who's through to the quarterfinals.